If you've ever used VLC Media Player, you know it's a great way to play movies and other media. However, VLC Player can do way, way more. Convert videos, record webcam, add subtitles, rip DVDs, and the list goes on. Check out 16 VLC tips and tricks to help you get the most out of the program. Let's get started. VLC has a built-in file converter that can change format of your media files. Here's how to use it. First, open VLC Media Player. Next, click the Media Menu button, and then choose the Convert Save option. In the pop-up window, click the Add button, select the file you want to convert, and click the Convert Save. Choose your preferred file format in the Profile section. Click Browse to choose the file path and hit the Start button to begin the conversion process. VLC includes the feature to stream videos inside the program. This can be useful for a variety of reasons, but if you want to download a video using this process, then stick around and we'll explain that on the next tip. Also note, this doesn't work with every website. Click the Media, then choose Open Network Stream option. Inside the Network Protocol input, paste the URL of the video that you would like to stream. Click the Play button to stream video in the VLC Media Player. Here's how to download videos in the VLC Media Player as we previously announced. Follow the steps for streaming videos first then continue with this step to download that video. You are currently streaming a video. Click the Tools, and then choose Kodak Information to proceed with downloading this video. Copy the URL from the location box, then paste that URL into the address bar of your browser and hit Enter on your keyboard. At any point during the video after it plays, right-click the video and select Save Video As. Select the preferred location and download the video to your computer. Not everyone knows that there's audio and screen recording features in VLC Player. Click the View Menu button and select Advanced Controls from the newly opened drop-down menu. You'll notice a few new options that appear on the lower left of the program. Then go to Media Menu, and in the Capture Device section, Set the audio and video devices to record from. Use the record button to start and stop the recording. If you ever need to record your entire desktop, VLC offers a built-in screen recorder. Let's show you how that works. To record your screen, click the Media Setting option, then choose Open Capture Device. Next, change the capture method to desktop. The next setting you'll want to change is the drop-down currently shown as Play. Select the drop-down and change that to the Convert option. That will let you select the output folder for your recorded file. Click the Browse button to choose a file export location. Don't forget to name your file, and click Save when you're done. Click Start after that, and your recording will begin. When you're finished with your screen recording, Open the VLC tab again and click the Stop button to stop recording. The steps for recording your webcam are very similar. Let's go through them quickly. Go to Media and then Open Capture Device. Make sure the Direct Show option is selected in the Capture Mode section. In the video device name, choose your preferred camera. In the audio device name, select your microphone. Click the drop-down arrow, currently shown as Play, and choose the Convert option. Next, select your video profile. That's the Format option. Browse button is for choosing your file location. Finally, click Start to start the recording. And just like before, click the Stop button to stop it. VLC includes a very handy bookmark option, providing you timestamps for sections of a media file 
that you can easily mark and come back to later. Here's how it works. First, with a video open, click the Playback Menu option. Hover over the Custom Bookmarks option, then click Manage. In the new window, click Create when you're at the section you wish to bookmark. You can create as many bookmarks as you like and access them later. You can easily add your watermark to a video in VLC Media Player. Go to Tools menu, then choose Effects and Filters. Proceed to the Video Effects tab. Then open the Overlay tab. You have two options here. You can add your Add Logo or Add Text. To add watermark, enable the Add Logo option. Click the three-dot browse icon and search for the image you wish to overlay. The default location of the watermark is in the upper left-hand corner. You can move the watermark to a different location using the top and left up and down arrows. Alternatively, you can enter the exact pixel location if you already know the desired position. Next, you can adjust the opacity using the opacity slider. Enable the Add Text option to type in your text to be used as a watermark. When you're finished, click Save. VLC includes several video and audio effects that you can apply to your media files. Let's look at some of those options. Go to Tools and then to Effects and Filters. In the Audio Effects tab, you have access to an equalizer, compressor, spatializer, stereo widener, and an advanced tab. If you're looking to enhance or change the way your project sounds, VLC offers several audio altering features. Adjust and play with the settings until your audio sounds perfect. Next, let's look at the Video Effects tab. There are several video effects you can experiment with, like motion blur, film grain, brightness, contrast, colors, overlay, and many more. We encourage you to adjust these settings as needed if you're looking to adjust your video effects. Here's how to trim videos in VLC Player. Although there are multiple ways to trim clips with VLC, the easiest option is through the Convert Save tool. Start by heading to Media, then select Convert slash Save. Click Add and open the video you want to trim. Check the box at the bottom that says Show More Options. Set the start and end time for your new clip. This is the segment that will be kept in your new file. Click the Convert slash Save to proceed. Choose a profile or create a new one. Click Browse and choose a name and location for your new clip. Press the Start button and your new trimmed video will be exported. VLC offers a cool feature in which you can play internet radio stations and subscribe to various podcasts. Go to View menu and select Playlists option. The program's interface will now change. To add a podcast, check the Internet section, click the plus icon to the right of Podcasts, then enter the RSS feed URL in the box provided. Then click OK. The podcast will appear in the menu on the left. Click the podcast you just added, and on the right, you will see a list of the episodes now available. Below the podcast section, there are a couple of directories with stations to choose from. Double-click on the station to listen. Here's how you can take a screenshot from videos in VLC. Right-click inside any video open with VLC Media Player. Hover over the video option and click Take Snapshot. There's also a keyboard shortcut on Windows. It's Shift plus S. On Mac, it's Command Alt S. As easy as it sounds. If a video you have doesn't come with subtitles, you can add your own by finding an SRT subtitle file for the video and adding it in. To add the subtitle, play your video and go to Subtitle on the menu bar and click Add Subtitle File. 
If you want VLC to play it automatically, place the SRT file in the same folder as the video and make sure it uses the same file name as the video file. You can use VLC to rip DVDs too. It's a simple way to create an archive of your DVDs for backup purposes, or a way to view them when you do not have access to the physical disk. Go to the Media option, then choose Convert slash Save. Proceed to the Disk tab. From here, click the radio button of the media disk you're using, and check No Disk Menu. Make sure the selected disk device is correct, and click Convert slash Save right after. There is an option available to use a web browser as a simple remote control for VLC. This is incredibly useful when running VLC on a Media Center PC, as you can control it using a laptop or your mobile phone. To enable this feature, go to Tools, then choose Preferences. Check the All box under Show Settings. Head over to Interface Chapter. Open the Main Interface section and tick the Web checkbox. Then proceed to the Lua section of the menu that is right under the Main Interfaces chapter and set your password to protect the session. Remote control through the browser should now be enabled. To test this, on your browser with VLC installed, go to localhost colon 8080. It will ask for the password and once given, it should display a remote control interface for VLC. To use this on another device, you will need to find the IP address of your device's browser. Add the address to your device's browser with colon 8080 appended to it. Your device is now a simple VLC remote. Last but not least, if you have a zip or RAR file that contains a media file, you can actually play them within VLC without extracting them prior. Simply open them with VLC. No file archiver needed. If the file is broken up into pieces, just open the first part of the archive in VLC, making sure all the files are within the same place. This is a good tip when you don't want to waste space decompressing the video. That's another tutorial full of great tips, this time on VLC Media Player. Now, all you newly made VLC Media Player pros out there, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, especially if you want to see more value-packed content like this in the future. Thanks for watching.